If you would have seen me in my childhood, you would have never imagined that I could have started a startup and employed more than 200 people and would have been responsible for the lives of around 5,000 people on the ground. Why all of this has been possible? It's just because one thing that I always wanted was to look at how I can become better than what I have already done. It's just the change was the only thing that I wanted to bring in myself. And I think if you be the change that you like to see, I mean, that's, that's something that Mahatma Gandhi has said it very well, right? Be the change that you want to see in the world. So I do not want to reiterate the same thing, but I just want to share my own experiences today that how my life turned because of this one thing that I constantly aimed for to be the change. Hi, I'm Akash Gupta. I'm running a venture called Zip Electric. And now I'll narrate the changes of my life. And I hope with these few changes, they will have some impact on you as you build your own journey of change. So it goes back uh, during my school days, right? There was one thing that I used to love, that I used to envy. And as a kid, um, you know, one thing that I liked people to, to do and, and, and uh, used to envy was people talking to the crowd, people talking to hundreds of people together, people winning debates, people conducting class assemblies. And, and this was a, you know, kid in, in class five who's, who's envying those seniors who are, you know, winning debates into multiple colleges. I could never have done this, but I took a leap of faith. I tried to bring that change in myself, went on to the stage with a lot of, you know, shivering hands, nothing in my mind, nothing do I remember. I went on and I picked up a debate competition within the class. I still remember the jitters that I had when I was standing in front of my class assembly and, you know, was narrating the pointers that I had remembered the entire night. It was multiple times that I was in front of the camera uh, or in front of the mirror and talking to myself, trying to narrate the best of me. That change got me multiple laurels. When I conducted the first class assembly, when I won the first debate uh, in my school, when I represented my college and you know won the award as the best debate uh, champion, those were the days that I still remember. And those were the highs that got me, you know, a lot of, a lot of feeling that I can do anything. And that feeling, once you get, you become unsurpassable. Post that, I went on to do my MBA, right? One thing which I admired as soon as I entered my MBA institute was my seniors who were in the placement committee. Again, People told multiple things that getting into the placement committee is tough. They grill you. There are multiple rounds of interviews. That's the most coveted, you know, team in the college. But I said, let's try. I learned, I understood how this works. And it was not just one. I was the placement committee in charge for my college IMT Ghazibad for both two years. Because I attempted to be the change. Going back a little, during my engineering college, the one thing that I did well during the first year was that I topped my school, engineering college. But I didn't get that kind of a high, even after topping my college. Because what I was envious was of was people who were, who were basically rallying the entire batch. Those were seniors who were conducting events. Those were seniors who were, um, you know, talking to the college administration to get things done. I could have never done that. I was a very, very introvert kind of a person during, you know, my early days. I said that while I have done well in academics, this is not the end of me. I want to do something more. I always, you know, want to be what I envy. And that's when 
I said that let me try and conduct the entire event for this college. I rallied it. I I went ahead, talked to the management that this is how I want to run it. And the next three years were me being me, me being what I wanted to become, me seeing the change that I wanted to see in me. Right? I was the student who was managing the entire institute, running all the events, and the go-to person when it comes to organizing things in the college. That's because I tried to be the change. Come to my management days. Come to my days of my first job or the second job. I started my job. I was learning. I was, uh, you know, trying to outperform everyone. But that was good till a certain point in time. Again, you get bored, um, you know, of achieving things, of, you know, uh, trying to get into the rigmarole of a job. But what I was envious always was of, you know, was people who were running their own companies. I was always envious of founders. I was envious of the entire startup world, which I was missing on. I said that, can I? Can I build a company of my own? By the way, it was also a childhood dream, which reinforced when I was working in my corporate job. Uh, in the first few years, I felt that the one thing that I always wanted to do is to create something of my own, is to solve a large problem, right? And I worked for 11 years in the corporate world. But during those 11 years, I was living two lives. One life was always the life of trying to outperform and trying to grow up the corporate ladder, trying to do the best that you could do for your company and get the best, you know, appraisals when it comes to uh, the right time. But at the same time, one thing that I was always envious of that, which was happening in the Indian world, was the world of startups. Startups were growing, startups and founders were, you know, becoming uh, the go-to, you know, teams. They were giving jobs to people, they were employing people. Uh, and that was something that I felt that I also would love to do at some point in time. Started working, started finding my niche, started seeing what I want to do, right? And it, it took me 11 years to get there. But when I did my first startup, which was Zip Electric, it gave me a very, very different high. Obviously, my family didn't support me. My family said, what are you doing? You are earning the best of salaries. You have the best of titles. Why would you lose it all and start from ground zero? But I always wanted to be that change, right? I went on. I said that. Let me try. I can't continue to say one thing in my life that I would want to do it at some point in time. Kaash nahi bolna tha puri zindagi. Intent tha. But courage thundi. And I started, you know, my own venture with a very small team. It took me four years to reach where I am today. But one thing which I'm happy about is that I took that leap of faith. I became that change which I wanted the world to see in me and myself to see when I go, when I sit and talk to people, when I see myself in the mirror, did I have that courage to bring that change in me? Even in the company that I'm running today, we are you know, solving the largest problem, which is the problem of pollution. We are bringing electric vehicles for the masses. We are ensuring that the world becomes green and sustainable with sustainable mobility. Now here also, one thing that we've learned, if we stick to what we are building, maybe we need to learn rather what the consumer wants and where the market is taking us. Case in point, we started as a bike share company where we wanted people to go from point A to point B. If we were stuck to that first version of our business, I would say that we would not have covered the last four years. We would have been dead somewhere in the way. But it's only the change that we adopted in our strategy. It's only the pivot that we did at the right time, learning what the consumer wants. We grew, we sustained, we solved a larger problem and our mission which is mission zero emission came closer to us. 
we pivoted to solving the last mile delivery problem from solving mobility because we realized that mobility will take time infrastructure will build over a few years people mindset will change over you know as the generations grow as people fathom the electric vehicles the entire change will happen slowly why would you want to offer something which will happen 10 years down the line today right let the market grow to that and hence we pivoted to make last mile delivery go electric we didn't change from our mission we just changed the way that we were offering the electric vehicles to the world and it's only that change which got us to the next level of what we wanted to become and now life goes full circle because always we wanted to solve mobility also today we have again we changed while we became leaders in the last mile delivery ecosystem in the markets where we operate we said that as the consumer behaviors are changing why don't we offer them mobility option too and that change of mindset we again embraced and today we have a very very strong offering in the market which is to solve the commute which is to solve last mile delivery also and this two prong strategy is taking us to the next level of becoming much larger every year case in point we grew 5x in last 12 months and our plan is to grow possibly 6 to 8x in the next 12 months and that is the beauty of startups so again i would want to say that you must be having someone whom you envy you must be having someone whom you worship you must be having some celebrity some sportsman some leader some businessman whom you want to be right find that find who's that one person whom you want to envy it cannot be possibly only one it could be multiple but pick up the best from these and try to bring understand first what are the values how what is their lifestyle what are their learning curves where they failed how did they become what they became and then build that change in yourself whether it's the way that you talk whether it's the way that you represent whether it's the way that you're learning bring those changes in yourself and i'm sure you will become the best of yourself don't stuck don't be happy so early try to find more things try to find more pivots trying to find more areas where you can learn and definitely the next version of you would be better than the current thank you signing off but yes i hope you will be that change from here on